Hello, welcome to News Clip. The previous government in Tamil Nadu, run by the AIADMK, had brought about a scheme called the Amma Mini Clinic to handle the COVID-19 pandemic situation. But now the present DMK government is thinking of scrapping the scheme and it has led to several thousand doctors, nurses and other health workers to lose their jobs. The doctors are on protest now, demanding that their work be continued and they be absorbed by the other health sectors. To talk about the matter on what the Amma Health Clinic is and what can be done by the state government, we have with us Dr. Kasi. Hello, doctor. Thanks for joining us. Could you uh, begin by telling us what exactly is the Amma Mini Clinic, how it came about and how does it, uh, how, how did it help the uh, state in handling the pandemic situation? Basically, Amma clinics were started by previous ADMK government in uh, just one year back. Uh, just before months, uh, two or three months before the uh, elections, assembly elections, by the previous ADMK government. The purpose of starting this was to cater since uh, there was a um, fear of um, COVID also, since it was just uh, the beginning of second wave of COVID-19. And they wanted people to work for COVID care and to take uh, temperature verification and uh, to do triage or sorting out of patients who need treatment and all. They have started this. The primary purpose was COVID care at that point of time, but uh, actually it was made, it is meant for um, taking care of the non-communicable diseases like um, diabetes and um, hypertension and other basic uh, diseases. The two in um, places where there is no primary health center or urban primary health center. So, the stretcher was uh, one uh, medical officer, one doctor, one uh, staff nurse and uh, one housekeeper or aya. That's the composition of that. Uh, actually, at the fag end of the day started, there was a political uh, game actually by the previous ADK government. Even then, it is uh, what I see, it's a part of the larger plan of uh, central government. Basically, central government has started an Aishman Bharat. Aishman Bharat scheme, health insurance scheme has two parts. One is insurance for curative health. In that, the hospital bills will be reimbursed by the central government, by that scheme. And uh, another part is wellness clinics. The proposal, there was a, there is a proposal to start more than 1.3 lakhs of wellness clinic, which will cater to the non-communicable diseases like hypertension and diabetic, diabetes and other non-communicable diseases. And uh, to cater this, they, they are in need of more than a lack of doctors. Um, so that and that's why they have started, they, they have collect, started collecting through ROK also, they have collected information about the prevalence of hi hypertension, diabetes and other non-communicable diseases so that they can use this data for further propagation of, further uh, provision of private sector, pharma companies to directly send the medicines like that, that's different thing. And this is basically a small primary health center like Setcher, which was started for COVID care at that point of time. And all these recruitments were given the time frame was only three months is assured. They were given it clearly. After that, what will happen after this, after the uh, three months, nobody knew at that point of time. But uh, after the new government took over, the same set of uh, all these AMA clinics, so-called AMA clinics were continuing till now. So now there is a proposal from the government to terminate these doctors and uh, other uh, paramedical workers, which is not good actually. And what they can do, they can absorb all the medical officers 
and staff nurses and other paramedical workers into the Tamil Nadu medical system because recently we have started 11 medical colleges and totally now there are 36 government medical colleges and also newer uh, general, general hospitals and uh, multiple uh, multi specialty hospitals were in uh, were proposed and they have been starting started now so they need a lot of man manpower there's a huge need of uh, manpower so to fill fill up that they can use all this actually all government recruitment should be done through tnpsc that's the ideal but uh, bypassing the since uh, tnpsc process process of recruit, uh, recruitment through tnpsc takes more time they have started mrb medical recruitment board the previous government yeah, they have bypassed, bypassed the mrb also they have appointed these people through contract purely on contract basis i think the any system of contract recruitment should be abolished in the health system because any investment on human resources should be done should be thought of in a long term basis and um, to man the huge health infrastructure in our state uh, like um, 36 medical colleges running 36 medical colleges with um, adequate manpower is a bigger very big challenge the Tamil Nadu government needs to recruit more and more doctors so they can be absorbed into the health system that's what we need definitely it needs to be done and it's a need of the hour in total how many doctors nurses and other uh, health workers does this uh, scheme employ and what will happen what will be the repercussions to the health system if these uh, the scheme is scrapped i think around uh, 1700 uh, doctors and nurses were uh, recruited at that point of time they are continuing in service since there is uh, now covid care uh, systems are um, doesn't need any additional manpower they can use all this manpower to for regular health or um, health system work and uh, another point i have uh, another demand in fact they should not dismantle all the covid care system covid care health centers instead what they can do they can use it as a infectious diseases hospital and uh, definitely if the rainy season comes the dengue other uh, communicable diseases will be uh, in arise will be rising at that point of time, we may need uh, additional help. In, uh, we, they have to maintain this all health infrastructure, which was planned and expanded. They have to retain because in future, more such occurrences, even COVID variant also cannot be ruled out. So then uh, other uh, virus Ill viral illnesses may come soon. So, we need to retain all this health infrastructure. To man this health infrastructure, we need additional resources, additional manpower resources. So, we can use all this. Thanks a lot for joining us.